Hello everyone and welcome back to Weekly Wrap Up. So in today's news, before we get started, I want to remind you guys about last week's episode when I talked about the bug that has to do with the Scout Towers in GC. Seven Pirates did come back to me. They said that the Scout Tower issue is a visual issue only. It's a bug and it's not actual losses. However, I did see more screenshots from my sources from the last video. They are telling me it's not just a visual bug and it's actual losses. I'm not sure which one to believe. Seven Pirates also didn't tell me if this is going to be fixed or when it's going to be fixed. Unfortunately, that's all the information I have on that topic. I wish I had more for you guys. So I'm going to post the GGM results on the screen here. That is for this weekend. So as far as this week's events, uh, up on the screen we've got the item gift swap. Now, there's been a lot of confusion about the percentages. People have been asking me what are the percentages. I've seen people in Discord asking. The percentages are never going to change. If the probability is a 0.5%, like it is on the screen right now, it's going to cost you 200 SEC. Now, if the percentage is 0.3, it's going to cost you 333. Those are the only two options I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure those are the only two options you're ever going to get. And we've also got a BOGO on magazines. In other events, we've got the Ether Enter Permit. There is nothing really special in this. We've got the Centicon Conquest. The rewards are the usual rewards. If you want to spend money to get them, you can. If not, don't worry about it. The Reward Token. These are all pretty poor rewards this time. I really wouldn't worry about breaking the bank to get any of these items. As far as the time limit item redeem itself, the items that you're going to be able to get are going to be the commander exclusive items. Uh, now, this is going to probably be the cheapest that you can get these items in a while at 200 SEC a piece. And you're going to need three for each of these. I do highly recommend that you pick these up now as they probably will be expensive in the future. When it comes to the targeted release, the only commander I would recommend you even try to get would be Gilly. You probably only need to get her once. This would just be if you don't already have the preemptive for the plugin. The full of gold, in my opinion, is kind of mediocre. So you are getting Zodalis medals. I'm not 100% sure uh, how we're saying that. The best thing that you're going to get from Zodalis is going to be the status quo passive. Uh, now, if you choose to get all of these medals, you're going to get 540 in total. It's going to cost you 30 each to get the status quo. You're going to get a total of 18, and that will bring you to a base level of 14 on your plugin if you don't have any other medals. The Grand Commander, this is pretty much... Pointless, it's bad rewards, don't waste your magazines on it. We've got the Super Value. This is going to be the Sun Raven Jupiter. In order to get this, it's going to be $2,000. It's the same Super Value that they keep having for different Sun Raven pieces. If you can afford it, I guess get it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be too worried about it. To go along with the targeted release event, we've got the Commander's Assemble. These events usually coincide together. You're going to have Chief and Lady and the Beast medals. I wouldn't really worry about getting these commanders. The best thing you can possibly get from this is going to be the Ether Energy. In other news, we did have a new version. So in this new version, the Saber plugin is now available. So if you have gotten those and you wanted them for plugins, now would be the time where you can actually trade them in. They also fixed an issue with Spreadshot. Spreadshot cannot be dodged anymore. 
and they added a new class. Uh, the class is a walker commander. I believe her name is pronounced Aquiliana. I'm not 100% sure. If we take a look at her, I'm a little confused on what they're trying to go with here. So, her first skill, the Protoss Shelter, not sure if that's copyrighted. Uh, it's a passive. Walkers give Protoss Shelter to all troops before the round begins. Uh, I am assuming that this is going to be each round. Uh, testing will have to be done. Protoss Shelter absorbs damage for the initiator. Total damage can be absorbed equal to 0.5% of the initiator's total HP, plus 1.5% of lost HP. So at level 60, this is going to be 30% and 90%. This skill sounds like Hancock's Feral Instinct. Uh, at 60, that's going to be 12%. Her second skill is Protoss Strike. Now, unfortunately, we don't have this commander yet, and she's not in the plugin store, so we can't see the actual numbers. But this reads, Walker, a certain chance to trigger before next action. So this is going to be a percentage-based attack. This attack is guaranteed to hit, and the damage will increase. I'm assuming that's going to be some sort of percentage right there and inflicts additional damage on the target equal to a certain ratio of initiator's lost HP. So there'd be another percentage there. This skill to me reads kind of like a hybrid between Sister Wolf's Quick Draw and her Deadly Impact. But it seems worse. So Quick Draw has the damage reduction ignore. This one doesn't. It's also guaranteed hit. It's 100% chance to trigger. I'm assuming this is not going to be a 100% chance to trigger. I might be wrong. It's also got deadly impact vibes. It doesn't have the initial additional damage based on HP. So if you're over 60%, you deal more damage. I'm not sure what the percentages on this are, but they're, they're going to have to be pretty big. But when you look at this skill, compared to her first skill, I, it seems like it's a tank damage hybrid, and I'm not sure that that's really going to work. So I don't see this commander really being that bad in the early and mid game, but based off of what I can see, 7 Pirates tends to do things a certain way. I don't see this commander really being that great at the end game. This will need to be tested, but there will be an event pretty soon for this commander. She's probably going to cost $100. If you're not a whale, I do not recommend you get her. Wait until one of the whales pick her up, throw a bunch of gear on her, and test her out at the highest level. When that happens, I'll make sure to make a video as soon as I possibly can. I will admit that this commander is visually stunning. I really like the way she looks. In my opinion, don't get this commander. I don't think she's going to work out. We've got better options for attack, and the defense portion of this commander is not going to be any better, really, than Elf. And that's going to do it for this week's wrap-up. I appreciate you all taking the time. I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully we have some more updates for you on the bug issue. I'm the Grinch. I'm out.